Doctor, are vaccines really effective and still necessary for my child? Because nowadays, diseases like polio are very rare. Yes, vaccines are effective and still necessary. For example, since the measles vaccine was introduced in Malaysia, the cases for measles have decreased dramatically. Another example of vaccine success is polio. The polio vaccine was first given in 1972 and in the year 2000, Malaysia was declared polio-free. Unfortunately, there was a polio epidemic that occurred in Sabah in 2019 and 2020, but it ended once again after a successful polio immunisation campaign. What would happen if many parents in Malaysia did not vaccinate their children? In the Philippines, when many children were not vaccinated, outbreaks of diseases that had previously been controlled or eradicated, such as measles and polio, resurfaced. Something similar could happen in Malaysia too if we stop vaccinating our children. By vaccinating my child, what diseases can it prevent my child from getting? The vaccines which are provided for free at health clinics can protect our children from 13 types of serious infectious diseases including tuberculosis or TB, hepatitis B, diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, polio, haemophilus influenza B, pneumococcus, measles, mumps, rubella and JE or Japanese encephalitis. In addition, the HPV vaccine is given in a school-based programme for 13-year-old girls. Parents are also encouraged to vaccinate their children against chickenpox, hepatitis A, influenza, meningococcus and rotavirus. For the moment, these additional vaccines are available only at private clinics or hospitals. Vaccines have been shown to be effective in reducing and controlling disease outbreaks. Protect your child by adhering to their immunisation schedule.